So a guy gets arrested, calls his buddy. His buddy happens to be um, a really powerful like attorney. So his buddy, you know, helps bring him out of jail. Then the first guy's buddy, I guess he's the, their buddy. I guess his buddy is a both of them. It's a whole little system, little clique. But their buddy invites the cop and the guy who got arrested over for a beer. And then the guy who got the first guy who got arrested out of jail, he wrote a book about the whole incident and vindicated him and his friends and talked about um, sort of the situation around why he thought his friend needed to be vindicated. Now in Kentucky, this type of shit happens all the time. Now, what would you do if a stranger said hi? Would you diss him or would you reply? If you answer, there is a chance that you'll become a victim of circumstance. Am I right? I'm right. Victim of circumstance. Now, this is what happened to Henry Lewis Jr. He got arrested. He called his friend, Dr. Ogletree. Uh, Dr. Ogletree got him out of prison. Then Obama, President Obama invited them over, made it a media blitz affair for a cold beer. And then Dr. Ogletree, who is a huge proponent of reparations, wrote a book about it. Now, I say that we have to see this in light of not race politics, but the good old boy system. Where I come from in Kentucky, the good old boy system has really helped to maintain centuries and centuries of social, economic, and also gender, we have to recognize, monopula monopolization. In a sense, uh, even in the modern world, if you were to look at my own city, Louisville, Kentucky, my own mayor, who was in power for most all of my life growing up in Kentucky, each one scratching another's back. Each one scratching another's back. And isn't that what happened with uh, President Obama, Drs. Ogletree and Dr. Henry Louis Gates Jr.? I say this to say that it's not anything new. It just is that Henry Louis Gates Jr. comes from Virginia, the neighboring state where Kentucky used to be a part of. I have a feeling that he knows well that good old boy system. Now, why this is important in the modern day? I think a lot of people are incensed with the shifting of racial power. And when I say the shift of racial power, it does not mean the decline of white and the rise of black. I think that what it means is a different way of doing things, of putting social justice and not just social networking first. That's just my take, because just looking at what those guys did, it wasn't self-serving. It wasn't some you know, group of professors with their politically you know, well-connected, I would say politically definitively well-connected friend, as has been the case throughout American history. They're not doing anything new at all. What is new is that they're basing it on something that is much grander than themselves. And that's why I'm happy to see it. Yeah. <laughs>